Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Steven Gorka. Juan. And uh, we are here to talk about Netflix's Jessica Jones Season 2. And uh, just for the record, quick disclaimer, I've only seen the first six or seven episodes of Season 1 of Jessica Jones. I did not see Season 2 of Jessica Jones. So I'm more a viewer like you guys are. Because Wonski finished Jessica Jones, and he's going to give us his in-depth, highly not in detailed depth. review. It's not Jessica detailed. Jones. It, well, it needs to be more than I'm five really, minutes. I mean, I'm not really that good at that. Well, here we go. Here we go. Give your review of Jessica Jones Season 2 and, and have it last longer than five minutes. Jessica Jones 2 was a waste of time. And um, so we might be going into a trade war. No, 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 dude! You gotta talk about Jessica Jones season two. Like, like, where, where, where does it, where, like, where do we leave off in season one? Where does it pick up? Tell me about the characters. So at the oh, end, no. so so we, so we know that what season one was basically about was about Kilgrave, right? Um, That's the Purple Man, right? Yeah, the Purple Man. Okay. Um, at the end, I, I know you haven't gone that far, but the end of the season it ends with Jessica Jones killing him. And and like I, I, I heard something about like an unborn child too, right? Was no, it? there's no unborn child. No. No. Oh, well, that, no. But she she ends up killing it. So, okay. season two begins with uh, Jessica Jones is uh, trying to get her life back together. Also, I'm assuming this happens after the Defenders. Um, so she's uh, working on her office. Uh, her neighbor is part of her agency now, Alias Agency, and they're working the, cases. The, the the heroin guy, right? Uh, the weekend. The weekends on the show? No, he looks like the weekend though. Oh, but he was the guy that was on drugs yeah, yeah, yeah. the first season. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know the weekends doing a comic book. No, I oh yeah, I did know that actually. from Marvel. It's like Star Boy or something. Yeah, it's called Star Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Um and so it starts with them. They're trying to get the agency back. They're taking like small cases again, right? Uh nothing major. Uh Jessica Jones is still an alcoholic, obviously. Yeah. Um and then you have the the sister, uh Patsy Walker. She's still doing her radio show. She the blonde, has right? the blonde, Hell, which is Hellcat, right? She has a new love interest, and um, so the, the show starts out fine. Like they're going back to the old detective stuff, which I thought was great. Um, Patsy Walker comes across some files um, about the this uh, IGH, this company that was involved with Jessica Jones. Apparently, Jessica Jones wasn't born with these powers. She was given these powers by this company IGH, and Patsy Walker convinces Jessica Jones to investigate them. So she doesn't want to. She's reluctant. Um, she also gets a new love interest in this uh, in this show. Some Hispanic felon down the hall that was in prison for forgery, and he comes in later to to help her out. Uh, the show is basically Jessica Jones. Uh, doesn't take long to discover that her mother survived the crash. And her mother was also given powers. It's like super strong. And she has a relationship with a doctor that was experimenting on her and Jessica Jones. Uh, her mom is with that guy. Her mom is also a killer who cannot control her anger. And she's she's set up to kind of be the villain, but not a villain. Okay. Um, it's about Jessica Jones' relationship and confronting uh, what her mother's death meant to her and did to her. And no, she didn't die. Yeah, and then that whole relationship now that all of a sudden she has her mother back. And it's about Patsy Walker being a super jealous fucking bitch who's always telling Jessica Jones she must do good with her powers, but she's just, you know, jealous of Jessica Jones' ability. ability. So she starts seeking out the a IGH guy because she wants to get powers of her own. Uh, Jessica Jones, in the middle of it, interrupts it, saves her, um, but it's too late. At the end of the show, you see Patsy Walker. Um, she drops the phone, and then she like kicks up her leg and balances the phone on her leg and kicks it up to her hand. So she obviously is super agile now, uh, which, you know, so which means at the end of the show, she's Hellcat. So uh, by Pat the 13th episode, she's Hellcat. Right. Also, um, so Jessica Jones goes on the run with her mother. She decides she wants to uh, build this relationship and doesn't care and decides she's going to help facilitate her mom's escape from the authorities because her mother by this time had also killed a cop. Um, Patsy you can't do that. Patsy Walker shoots Jessica Jones' mother in the head and kills her. Oh, so Hellcat 
kills her mom. Yeah. So now at the end of the show, there's a falling out between Jessica Jones and Hellcat. Aren't they both good guys? Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, Malcolm, Jessica Jones treated him like shit because he's a fuck up. He ends up joining another investigative agency. And all in all, the, the show, it was boring. Like, there's no real villain. Like, her mom's presented to be the, the, the IGH guy. He was actually, like, cool. He was just like, listen, I saved your life. Like, you got these powers as a side effect. I was only trying to help you. Sounds very Luke Cage. Yeah, no, he was presented to be, like, not a bad guy. He's a hippie. He walks around in Grateful Dead shirts, like, I want to heal the world, right. right? Her mom is a villain, but, like, you kind of understand why she does what she does. Like, she cannot control herself. Like, when she gets angry, she loses control. She's a Hulk. That's all she is. She's an incredible Hulk. When she gets angry, she loses control and she just wipes out whatever it is that Does is making she her angry. Change? No. no. Okay. No, but she kills whatever it is that's the threat. She kills it and then she calms down. Okay. So that's all she does. So she's not really a villain either. There's no villain. It's very boring and not compelling at all. And thirteen. Thirteen episodes, episodes of this bullshit. Uh huh. Jeez. Like yeah. Because Jessica Jones hours. like, oh, I love my mom. I want to get to know my mom. No, no, no. I'm gonna turn her in. Turns her in. Mom breaks out of jail. No, no, mom. And then, like, no, I want to get to know my mom. Turns her in. That kind of bullshit. Oh my for god. For thirteen episodes. Oh my god. It is not compelling. Now, there was no real cameos. Foggy made a cameo. Okay. The 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 was, lawyer because he works for Jerry's was firm. Was Claire in it? No. Thank God. No, she was not in it. What about the girl, the blonde? So I will tell you this. The blonde chick. No, 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 no. The the only the only cameo is Foggy. Okay. Good. Good. So Jerry Hogwarth, the attorney. Okay. Who's played by what's her name? Uh, is it Carrie Ann Moss? Carrie Ann Moss, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Ca she is the best character in the show, right? For sure, and the only compelling storyline. Well, she she's a, she's a cameo, I guess, because didn't he, she run? She, she was she was originally in Daredevil and Iron Fist, right? But she was in Jessica Jones season one. Was she? See, yeah, yeah, she's the one. She's the one that hires Jessica Jones to do stuff for. Her. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Yeah. Right, yeah. and and so. I, I uh, see. I heard. I, I heard from something else I listened to that Carrie Ann Moss is there's like crazy like orgy sex drug scenes with her and she right. So she's, she's got a really like dark side. Right. Her. Only. Only. But the, the the thing that this only happens because she finds out she has a disease, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. So she's like fuck it, and she's supposed to die from it. Like I'm just gonna. Yeah. So she's just like fuck it. I'm doing so. In, in Jessica Jones' investigation, she finds out about this whole, like, IGH stuff. And um, she starts talking to this girl that was a nurse during that time. And she's hiding the nurse. And the nurse tells her that there's a guy that can heal. Was part of this whole thing. So, obviously, she's like, this is going to save my life. So, she befriends the girl, start, falls in love with the girl, fucks her. Like, but this girl was like a prostitute, homeless by the time this happened. Okay. Um, she ends up getting the guy out of prison for the girl. She leaves. Supposedly, the guy heals her. She leaves the apartment. She comes back. All her shit's gone. They conned her. Yeah, she yeah. wasn't healed at all. Holy shit. So, oh, it's another cameo. You know the, the guy from Luke Cage? Uh, the guy that you can get shit from? He wasn't a main character. No. One of the side characters. Anyways, he gets her a gun. And you're like, oh, fuck, what's, what's she going to do? She ends up going to the house. She finds out where these guys live, the woman and the guy. Yeah. She, the woman, she gets a woman, she calls her, she comes outside, she's had all this, like, faked all this documents, she's like, listen, this guy's playing you, he's been playing you the whole time, he was trying to get other women to, like, send him stuff in jail, you were homeless and he fucked you over, just take this gun and protect yourself, you should confront him, and she manipulates the girl into killing, murdering her man when he actually didn't do anything as revenge, awesome, super dark. Wow. Yeah, she's the best character in the show. Okay. The only realistic one. Jessica Jones, like, completely boring. The whole alcoholic thing. Her new love interest is just fucking boring. He has an annoying little kid who's obsessed with superheroes. Has, like, a Captain America action figure. Cute. Yeah. Like, and, and then her, her, Patsy Walker is just fucking annoying. Her mother's still a, just unbearable. And, and her neighbor is fucking stupid. So, all in all, hated the show. I, I don't know if I will watch season three. So, to our viewers, watch Jessica Jones or don't? Jessica Jones season one, yes. Season two, no. 
No. Okay. I mean, you should watch it just to keep up with what they're going to be doing on the Netflix show since they all interconnect. And I'm sure that Jerry is going to be a completely different person now. Yeah. The attorney, right? She's yeah. still dying. Yeah. Um, Malcolm, her neighbor, now works for a different detective agency. Um, so I, I'm sure but there's going to be repercussions. You don't got to spend 13 hours. You can just find the cliff notes somewhere. Basically. Yeah. It's not worth your time. It's not compelling at all. I thought it was awful. Ah, oh, wow. There you go. Netflix is Jessica Jones season two. And this is the first season to come post Defenders, right? Yes, this is the first post Defenders. And Defenders wasn't that great either. I like Defenders a lot. It was good, but it wasn't that great. You know what helped it? Eight episodes. Eight episodes. Yeah. Netflix, please stop. Uh, you don't. You, uh, Actually, no, Punisher came after Defenders. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Punisher was slow too. Because, but yeah, but imagine Punisher and they cut out four episodes of bullshit. Would have been great, nonstop. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. amazing. Yeah. And I think this se- Jessica Jones. This could have been done. This is like a three, like a three episode arc. Seriously, it's that bad. Thirteen episodes, and there's I'm not missing out on it. There's nothing else that really happens. That's all there is. Wow. It's awful. Well, we all know Iron Fist two is coming. Yeah. We all know Luke Cage two is coming. Daredevil three. So. Uh, What's the next one? It's either Luke Cage or Iron Fist. Yeah. Daredevil's the last one to come out, I think. I, I was really hoping that they'd get rid of Iron Fist and Luke Cage as one show, two shows, and make it one. Because they're they yeah, they, no, but yeah. just make it Heroes for Hire. Yeah, yeah. Like, and here's the thing: so Iron Fist, I didn't think was as bad as everyone thought it was. Um, but he was bad. But he wasn't that great. Um, when we watched Defenders, his chemistry. With Luke Cage was fantastic. Fantastic, okay. and and that's pretty much probably why they hired him. And they said that when they screened actors for for Rand for Danny Rand, they would do it with Luke Cage, just to see that make sure they had chemistry. Which is one of the reasons I want Iron Fist to stop because if the whole purpose was to make sure that Iron Fist and Luke Cage had chemistry together, then just fucking do the show already. Agreed. And and and. The casting on Luke Cage is amazing. Yeah, amazing. He's great. And no, guy, right. And the guy that plays uh, uh, Matt Murdock's great too. He's all right. I'm, I'm not even, into him. Even though that guy's that guy's constantly he can't keep a beard off his face if yeah. he wanted to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh. well, do you think that maybe uh, maybe maybe that was Netflix's plan is to not have a Luke Cage or Iron Fist se- f- f- season two, but with this whole Disney having their own streaming service and knowing they're not going to get more properties, they're like, we need to keep this as four shows. I, I, I don't know, because, I mean, I've heard these four shows are going to make their way over to the Disney app eventually, you know? No, I, I heard different. I heard that they're going to be allowed to keep those shows. Well, we'll see. We'll see what right. it does, you know? Uh, Cloak and Dagger, didn't that come out too? No, not yet. They they had, I think, the, the first episode at some con or something. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so... Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Jessica Jones season two, as told by Wonski here. Um, do you want me to do Runaways now? No, no, we're gonna do that in a separate one. But there you go, Jessica Jones for Tom Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I'm Stephen Corka. I'm Juan Froch. <laughs>